Hey folks, this is Iowether, and we're back playing some more War Thunder. This is my Avenger, Dauntless, one of the two. It's a dive bomber. It's an American. This is a uh, rank uh, five or six game, and I have a torpedo loaded up, so I'm gonna go take out some ships. This is one of my favorite things to do in any aircraft that carries torpedoes because they're basically one-shot wonders. One torpedo and that you about a thousand experience or something like that. Twelve to fifteen hundred if you're lucky. And so it's an easy and fairly cheap way to get some experience. Now you notice I'm flying into the middle of nowhere. That's so that I can get the attack path correct because when I dive bomb I want to hit them and fly and have my trajectory fly me back towards friendly lines. So just ignore the flash and return to battlefield I do. Gonna pick a target down there. Prob I think I'm going for the second closest ship to me. That way if somebody else attacks the pack they're more likely to kill the front leading ship and leave my target standing. That I-153 uh, is going in there, probably dropped some bombs or something, apparently didn't do anything, or maybe missed, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. My target's still there, so in a second I'm going to start the dive. You can see I'm going for 465 kilometers per hour. It's going to be a whole lot more by the time I hit the target. Off me, but good luck catching me in this dive. Got the target all lined up. Gonna try and hit the front of it. Wait till the last boss a second. Drop the torpedo and run. There we go. That was an experience. Done. My job is to get back towards friendly lines because the the way in which I dove, I carry most of my speed back towards friendly lines. Unfortunately, this guy who is shooting me is not going to stop. My only real way to kill him is to lead him back through friendly fighters and let somebody scrape him off me. Now I really want to be starting my run back towards another ship at this point in time, but until this guy gets off me I can't do that. He's finally decided I am not worth it. Good. That or somebody killed him. I don't know which. It doesn't really matter. The enemy is attacking our base. We will reinforce this defense. I decided that this JU-87 needed to die. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill him or not, but somebody needs to go harass him. And if I can put a couple shots into him and then like a destroyer gets him, I'll still get that kill. So it, it's worth going in on him for. Try not to hit friendlies, and then it's just not worth uh, hanging around, taking another pass at him. There's some damage to him. If somebody kills him in the near future, then I'll still get the assist. And for like three build-up bullets and like 30 seconds of time, it's worth an assist. Yeah, there we go. 30 experience, 200 credits, or lions, whatever. Worth it. Or losing, huh? Well, if I can keep taking out destroyers, then I can definitely even those odds.
because we still haven't a full fleet of destroyers. Whereas they are missing one. So we go seven, six ships? Yeah, six ships floating along. Perfect for nation. They only have five. Gonna try and make that four in a second. And the best part about this is now that lead ship is almost near our lines. So when I, by the time I hit them, I should be inside our lines not too long afterwards. Now the one around me. Good. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I want this destroyer almost equal with my wings before I go in on him or until somebody starts an attack on me. Here we go. Now we should hit about 500 kilometers per hour by the time I find this guy. Come in low and fast to dodge all the AA that's coming up at me. All the flak. And when ready, drop a torpedo and get out of there. There we go. Well, I mean, you know, if I can hit them while flying, then I will. I'm not going to turn around and try and dogfight with them. But putting a couple of incendiary shells into them will be totally worth it. Okay. I was going to go try and get that guy, and then he bounced off our destroyer. Oh, <laughs> somebody driving at that was to you. That's so cute. I don't think I'm gonna get to kill him, am I? Yeah. What? <laughs> kill the kingfisher. That was so mean. <laughs> that poor guy. He had no chance. The only thing he had a chance with is if he could have dropped a torpedo and killed the destroyer. That's about the only thing he could have done in that situation. Now, these ships are getting close enough to our lines that I'm only going to get a couple more runs in before they're going to be in amongst our lines and that's going to be a problem. Actually, five fires flying formation over top of them, I'm probably not going to survive this run. But, for a thousand XP, it's totally worth it. So I'm diving in on the smallest ship, not because I, you know, want less experience or something, but I want to make sure I can kill it. Torpedo away. Good. Worth it. Okay, well, let's take another bomber. The A20G is a nice dive bomber, which I didn't actually figure out until partway through this run because this is my very first time taking the thing out for a spin. So I'm still trying to figure out how you fly this thing and what to do with it. But I enjoy the fact that it's got four or five hundred pound bombs on it. That should make it very interesting. Also, it should be very easy to blow my own wings off if I'm not careful. Something I've very definitely been known to do before. So, all this up and down movements you see is me trying to figure out if this is a flat bomber or a dive bomber. Came to the conclusion it's a dive bomber. So I'm going to try and line up on those three tanks you see down there to my left. Where'd they go? There they are. I'm gonna get one run at this, so let's try and make it a good run. Well, I managed to drop one, which missed. Or at least it didn't hit enough to give me a crampy experience. Which is irritating, to say the least. So come over the top, and let's try this thing again. 
except they've turned. Okay, well. Got one, good. Should still be able to get the other two, if I'm lucky. Yeah, I got somebody coming in on me. Not gonna last much longer. So, make sure I get both kills. Now we're just gonna take out that um, random plane, Kitty Hawk, because, well, it's my best plane and I love flying this thing. So there's only three things left to kill, and I believe they're all destroyers. The things I couldn't kill. So we're just waiting on two more and. I, I, I highly doubt I'm going to make it to the ground or to this Spitfire before we win. Switch targets, maybe hit something closer. No, we're done. Victory's off. Let's go. 10,000 experience, 14,000 with the bonus. I killed one aircraft, six ships worth a lot of experience. Sorry, three ships and three tanks still quite high up on the board that was well worth the like 10 minutes of work or whatever that was got a whole bunch of experience earned some new upgrades had a lot of fun so thank you so much for watching thank you for hitting that like or subscribe button i will see you guys next time ioe threat